Alexa, open WikiHow. Okay, here's WikiHow. Hi, ask me how to do anything. How to take care of goldfish. How to take care of goldfish. To properly take care of a goldfish, choose a tank that is at least 30 to 40 US gallons so your fish will have enough space to grow. Coat the bottom with either very large gravel that cannot get stuck in your fish's throat. Keep the aquarium lit for 8 to 12 hours a day to replicate a normal day-night cycle, and install a three-stage water filter to keep the water in your aquarium clean. Feed your fish goldfish pellets once or twice a day and perform a 25% water change once a week. If you would like each step read out in detail, say read steps. Read steps. Step 1. Get a large enough tank. The minimum tank size for one goldfish is 20 to 30 US gallons, 75.7 to 113 liters. If they don't have enough space a survival mechanism can start making it so they will stop growing, but there is a catch, their organs will continue to grow. If you can't have this large of a tank then look for another fish. You will need to add 15 US gallons, 56.8 liters, onto that for each additional goldfish. Do your research about all different kinds of goldfish. Common goldfish, comet goldfish, and other single-tail goldfish need ponds or huge tanks as they can grow up to a foot or more in length. Do not get single tails unless you have a 180 US gallon, 681.4 liter, tank lying around or a pond into which you can transition them when they get too large. For decades goldfish were touted as being able to live in small bowls, and thus why they have a reputation of having short lifespans. However, goldfish can actually live as long as 20 years. Without enough filtration, ammonia builds up quickly in such a small space and the environment becomes toxic. Goldfish will grow to match the amount of space available. However, you are not required to grow them to their full potential. Your 1-inch goldfish can potentially grow to the size of your arm but would only likely to do that if you own a large pond or professional aquarium. To continue, say next. Next. Step 2. Set up the aquarium first before you buy the fish. It takes some time and cares to set up a proper goldfish habitat. As mentioned below, there are quite a few steps to make sure the water and overall living conditions are good for the fish. Fish are sensitive creatures that get stressed from going from one environment to another. Too much change too quickly can actually kill the fish even if the environment is ideal. Do not keep transferring your fish from one container to another. Goldfish cannot live in small temporary environments, such as a plastic bag or small bowl, for very long. An hour is fine, several hours not very good, a day or so maximum for a small water container. In an emergency, a large plastic bucket, rinsed well and with water treated with water conditioner works well. To continue, say next. Next. Step 3. Use gravel that will not get stuck in your fish's throat. Goldfish are particularly prone to getting aquarium gravel caught in their mouths. Use either large gravel, too big to swallow, or very small gravel. Large gravel is better for goldfish because it will not get caught in their throat and because goldfish like to be able to dig into the gravel to search for fallen food. Be sure to clean your gravel before you put it into the tank. Many aquarium gravels require rinsing, or your aquarium will be cloudy or dirty. Even if you have just bought it, a good rinse and soak in some water for a day will draw out some of the impurities and help ensure that your goldfish are getting the best environment to flourish in. Make sure to not use soap. To continue, say next. Next. Step 4. Make sure your tank has some scenery and light. Buy tank hoods with installed lights or any other aquarium-specific light. Normal old light bulbs or lamps may not have the right requirements. Goldfish are diurnal which means they are active during the day. They need light to maintain a healthy wake-slash-sleep cycle. There is also evidence that light is necessary to keep your fish's colors bright. Fish that can't sleep well or aren't getting enough sunlight are going to lose their color and become dull. Keep your aquarium lit for around 8 to 12 hours each day to replicate a healthy day-slash-night cycle if it does not receive natural sunlight. Never put your tank in direct sunlight, either, as this could cause large temperature fluctuations and contribute to rampant algae growth. Think about putting a rock or wood centerpiece with some artificial greenery into your aquarium. The rock or wood will give the goldfish nooks and crannies to explore and the artificial plants won't accelerate plant growth in your tank. Goldfish thrive with minimal decoration. They are typically chubby and poor swimmers, so having fewer obstacles means they can swim more freely. 
Consider having one medium to large statement piece in the center of the tank and a few plastic plants located outside of the swimming pattern to give your fish the most usable space. Real plants are beneficial because they help absorb some of the nitrates that accumulate in the aquarium because of waste and natural wear and tear. However, goldfish are omnivores and voracious eaters. Stick with artificial plants until you have the time and resources to keep real plants safe from hungry goldfish. Be sure that any decorations you choose aren't hollow, it's a breeding ground for potentially harmful bacteria, and that they don't have sharp edges, your fish might tear its fins. Try using fluorescent lights for your goldfish. Halogen lights and incandescent lights will also do. Pay attention to how much light you give them, goldfish will appreciate 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. To continue, say next. Next. Step 5. Rig up a water filter. Goldfish need a filter. A water filter should have three stages, mechanical, for removing large particles such as fish waste or excess food, chemical, for removing odors, discolorations, and other organics, and biological, to break down fish waste and ammonia with beneficial bacteria. It should also be rated for the size of your tank. If your tank is on the borderline between two sized filters, it is usually better to go with the larger filter. Having clean water and a functional, efficient filtration device will keep your goldfish content and healthy. There are three very popular kinds of filters. Hang on back, HOB, filters, which hang on the rim of your tank, and bring water in and filter water out. They are very popular, reasonably priced, and probably give you the most bang for your buck. Canister filters sit underneath your aquarium and use a series of tubes to filter water in and out. Canister filters tend to be almost silent, are a little pricier than hob filters, but tend to be more efficient at filtering than hobs. Canister filters are also typically made for tanks in excess of 50 gallons, 189.2 liters, and so are usually not available for smaller tanks. Wet slash dry filters use an overflow box to filter out impurities. Wet slash dry filters, however, are significantly bigger than hobs or canisters, and so generally only fit into aquariums that hold at least 50 gallons, 189.2 liters. To continue, say next. Next. Step 6. Fill the tank with water. When you get your tank, fill it with tap water that has been treated with an appropriate water conditioning solution. Or, you could use distilled water. Untreated tap water or drinking water has chemicals and minerals that could harm the fish. To continue, say next. Next. Final step. Go through at least one fish less cycle before introducing your goldfish. A fish less cycle involves adding ammonia to a tank and keeping track of the nitrate levels to make sure the water is safe for your goldfish to live in. Sadly, many fish die once introduced into a new tank because of ammonia and nitrate poisoning. Make sure that you add dechlorinator, because the chlorine in tap water will kill your fish. Before you add your fish, you'll need to make sure the environment is fish ready. Pick up a pH test kit and test the tank for the right amount of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels. You want zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and less than 20 nitrate as your end result. Test strips can be difficult to use correctly and tend to be more expensive, so get a liquid test kit like the API Master Test Kit. What's going to happen is you'll start adding drops of ammonia continuously. That'll start the nitrite process going. If you keep doing what you're doing, eventually you'll see nitrates which are consumed by algae or plants. When you've done a lap, it's fish time. Okay, you've reached the end of the article. To hear it again from the beginning, ask how to take care of goldfish. Or, you can ask how to do something else. What would you like to do? Exit.